the people with Gloria Allred. Megan Moore is suing Brent Velasquez in the amount of $5,000 in salary Ms. Moore claims she lost when Mr. Velasquez blocked her car with his big rig tractor trailer. Ms. Moore, why are you in court today? I'm in court today, Your Honor, because this driver blocked my car in. I lost two months, two months of earnings. Is that the truth, Mr. Velasquez? Did you, in fact, block her car? Your Honor, she was parked illegally, and I don't know her anything. I parked in the right place where I was told where to park. All right, let's find out, Ms. Moore, where, in fact, were you parked? Your Honor, I went to the mall for lunch and to get me some shoes because I was going to have a, a reward celebration for my job. When I came out, I couldn't even get out because his truck was blocking my car and three other cars in. I went to go look for him because I saw the name of the store. So I went to go look for him. He was in there flirting I with was this young lady. Flirting. Yes, you were. I, I stood there, Your Honor, for 10 minutes begging him to let me out. He just told me that. He said, oh, yeah, I'll be out in like five minutes. I stood there. Now, did you tell him you needed to be able to move your car because what? You needed to go to work? I told him I had to get back to work or I would lose my job. I did tell him that. that he told me that was not his problem. Is that, in fact, what you said, sir? Mrs. What, what I did, I told her, I parked here because I'm told where to park. And she kept saying about being able to not go to back to work or whatever. I'm just doing my job. I'm delivering mattresses, and I have a schedule to run to. It's not my fault she's looking for shoes for whatever reason. That's what I explained to her. It would only take a couple minutes. And she kept going at it and calling me nasty things and it started saying stuff that I li listen, just give me a couple minutes and I'll be done with this. Well, what did you need a couple minutes for? To flirt with somebody in the store? No, Your Honor. I was waiting for the manager because I need to have my shipment signed by him in order for me to unload the truck. And was he not there at the time? He told me he should be in a couple minutes and that's what I was doing. I explained to her, but she would not listen. Did you say to her, look, it's not my problem if you have to get to work? I did, Your Honor. And as a matter of fact, she kept going so much at it that I went back considering maybe moving the truck, and another truck was blocking me now. I told her, I have to wait anyway, so let me just unload this truck. The manager came in, told me, go ahead, unload your truck, and I'll sign it inside. And that's what I did, and then she got more furious. All right, is that true? Did you get more furious? I did get more furious because he came out, and he could have moved his truck so I could get out, but you know what he did? Instead, he unloaded the mattresses while I was sitting in the car waiting. Because I'm working. You should have been considerate, okay? Ms. Moore, he testified that there was another truck blocking his truck so that even if he wanted to move his truck, he couldn't move the truck. Judge, there was no other truck behind him. He is lying. There was no other truck behind him. If it would have been another truck behind him, I would have found that driver. He is lying. He's just trying to justify no, flirting with this girl. you found me because I had a logo with mattresses on my shirt. That's how you found me. Now, he is testifying that he was parked where he was supposed to be parked. Did it say, sir, delivery or trucks park here or truck zone or anything to that? Effect? There is no science, Your Honor, but I was told exactly where to park. And it's not my fault that this parking structure is designed poorly, okay? And, and who, told you, who told you where to park? The management told me that. And did, and you, did you see other trucks parked in that area? Yeah, I've actually talked to other truck drivers, and they've also told me to park only there, because otherwise we could get fined for being parked illegally. So that's a special area for trucks, you For see? deliveries only. Oh, did you see any signs there? There was not a sign. I went back to make sure, Judge, there was not a sign. So I don't know if the manager of the store is making laws now, but you need to talk to him because you were illegally parked. You were double no, parked, and that's why we're here. Now, what happened after he refused to move his car? Ultimately, he did move his car. You were able to get out of the space. Did you go to work? I went to work. And then what happened when you got there? I got fired. You got fired? I got fired because I, I was an hour late for my own celebration. I was going to be promoted. And instead of being a promoted judge, I was terminated because my boss could not understand how I could be an hour late coming back from the mall. So that's when I called his job. I told his job exactly yeah, what had happened. Made, yes, I did. And she made these all lies about me. She said that I was nasty to her, which I was never nasty to you. What? As a matter of fact, you're being too nice right now. You should show you the judge how really you really are. Oh, yeah. Really I'll sh I'm showing you how really I am, sir. I don't know where you got your license from. I got let go for you one really week with no pay. There'll be no more arguing with each other. If you have an argument to make, 
make it right up here to the court. Do you understand, sir? And coming up. But if I would have wanted to move the truck and able to, I would have to. There was another truck there that obviously she didn't even see that he was blocking me also. Closed captioning provided by...